that. Flatalus <laughs> and Sylvanos have chomp attacks. Yeah, they're pretty great. It's like it that my tag meant well. for you. Yeah. You were chompers before you played rivals, right? Yeah. That's funny. It's like it was meant to be. Yeah. You're meant to be a dirty Edelus main. Oh. <laughs> I just like bears and dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have started playing the game if it wasn't for Edelus. No, he's really cool, honestly. Like I love using him, and I I don't mind fighting him most of the time. Well, yeah. <laughs> only if I'm using Force Burn do I mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're going into this, and Coco versus Vixie right now. It is a best of five. The whole tournament is, just because we have nine people. Uh, we usually do nine or less as best of five the entire way through. And it's pretty even so far. Yeah. Um, I played Eliana in a round robin down in Tucson against two new guys. So nothing here and nothing that's been streamed. But I technically have, but not really in a serious match. She is legal, though. It's just... Uh, I'm not dropping fours anytime soon, and she's kind of uh, it's kind of wacky. Mm. You got to put a lot of time into her, I think, to be good with her. And I'm definitely not dropping fours, so she's not a secondary character. I think if you're using her, she's a main, day in and day out. Yeah, I know. I said I'd probably like co-main Maple or like some other character with Edelus eventually, but I'm actually picking up Sylvanas just because it's a dog. Yeah, I mean Sylvanas complements Ed Ed Edelus pretty well too. They they have similar fighting styles, but like different matchups, if that makes sense. Yeah, I can agree. Like, it's really easy to switch between the two of them, but you can get different bonuses from one of the other. Like, I, I think, um, for example, Sylvanos in particular with his upstrong against Raster as an edgeguard tool is super scary. It just, it likes to cover that, that area that we just saw just now. And it, I don't know, he's just got different options that can out-disjoint Raster to the point where it's like, with Edelus, you're like, yeah, I've got fair. But with with um, Sylvanas, it's like you're going to make Raster rush you down and get in on you instead of just kind of trading hit, trading moves, you know? Because mm -hmm. your disjoint wins as Sylvanas, which is kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> Sylvanas' fair is just, it's so good. Honestly. Yeah, he's so good. Like, Sylvanas is actually super tight, too. I, I, I really enjoy using him just in friendlies in general. And oh my god, as I'm saying this, like Coco's at 161%. This dude is living literally forever. Ooh, 177. Second hit. second hit of up air. I like that change actually. Yeah, me too. Like the at G5 they had the build that had the original up air, which was kinda like how it is now, except that there was no bonus for only hitting the second hit. Yeah. And then they changed it when they originally released him to having that really awkward like swipe swipe instead of a swipe swipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it just felt clunky and weird. So I'm glad they brought it back, and they also gave a bonus for having hit the only the second hit. So like, they still have that, like, yeah, you space it right, but it also doesn't feel weird yeah. to use. Seems like it complements his moveset a lot more. It does, definitely. Ooh, Ooh the spike, the yeah. Got him up to 93, though, before, yeah. that, before that spike. Really, really good game. Going to <laughs> Blazing Hat out. I think this is Vixie's favorite stage as Sylvanos. Yeah, I mean, it's a really good stage. Um, you can offset the grass, so if you're controlling the top platform with a flower and then you just run around on the ground, you can basically have grass everywhere pretty easily. Yeah. And um, also, if you do it right, you can do howls where you offset the grass timing. So like, you have uh, grass popping up and you know throwing out a hitbox on the platform while there's actual like active grass for you to run on on the bottom. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. I, I, I think like we'll see more of that as he gets more like, you know, utilized by top players. Right. But it allows for some cool things since it's just one giant platform. So you can actually use your, your flower on it without having any sort of really repercussions for it, I guess would be the right word. Oh my God. He got Ooh. spiked really early, but that up special letting him just jump into the stage. So nice. Wow, and that a back air into up strong will take it, even though he's a fat boy. Zetterburn, pretty strong. Oh, yeah. Man, he just dissolved that stock, that second stock for Pixie. Oh, my God, yeah. Coco is kind of on a tear right now. Holy cow. Yeah. Ooh, I think Vixie threw out a hitbox that kind of extended his uh, body. 
So get hit by that back air. Yep, absolutely. And uh, looking at the chat, no, we don't have the sprite made for Sylvanos yet. It is our own fault, and I apologize. But uh, also deal with it. Yo, that three stock that game though. Yeah. It's really dominant in Purple's favor. And uh, here comes the Crag, which is Vixie's original main. Yeah, going back to his roots. Absolutely. His well, he's leaving his roots. Oh. Get it? Because he's us he was using the grass character, uh. and now <laughs> he's going back to his wall. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with the second part of that, but uh, going to Crag, seeing if he can throw off Coco's just unrelenting pressure. You know, looking at like the the dis uh, disparity in like you know air characters, their style the style of the water character and the style of the earth and fire. I think the coolest group of characters is the earth characters, honestly. Like, each one is a, so unique in their own right. Yeah, for sure. Where, like, you know, the fires have some cool people, but, eh, they're all kind of, like, kind of basic in senses. Like, you got a Marth and a and a PM Wolf with some, some quirks. And then Forest Burn is just kind of sneaky, which is neat, but, I don't know, just the... Uh, I think they're the coolest cast of just unique styled characters. Whoa, he got the ledge cancel on that down special. Oh, and he went for the spike on that. So Coco doesn't play this game very often, but when he does, dude's a monster. Um, I know he gets some practice with his friend named Water. Uh, they come out every once in a while. Uh, it's kind of hard for him, but... When he does get that practice with them, he does. Like, he's just a smart player. He was PR on our Smash 4 for a little bit. And I don't know, man. He's, he's showing up pretty well. But Vixio looking to even it up a little bit. He has taken the first stock, which is an improvement over the last game. And at 93%, he could take the second stock. Oh, wait, no, he's in the lead. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's been bodying him. See, this is what I get. That's what I get when I go onto a tangent. I just kind of forget. I've also worked 11 and a half hours today before coming, so I'm a little tired. Hence why I was easily tilted earlier. And guess that game. All right, Coco going to game five situation. The coolest group is the Ori characters. No, but there's only one of them. Well, I guess there's two of them. And one of them is a literal ball. Yep. I think the coolest group is the water group. <laughs> Probably the most hated group, actually, <laughs> now I'm, that I I'm, think about it. I was saying coolest because, you know, that's like they have an ice character and it's water, and you know, water is usually kind of cool. Yeah. Like cold. Oh. It was a joke. <laughs> Whatever, my head. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm throwing one of these in the chat, though. <laughs> Alright, go to Merchant Port, though. Game four. Oh, I thought Big C took a game earlier. I, I, thought I, did. I thought he did too. I thought it was game five coming up. But uh, you know what? No, it was two just straight games. Of, it was a really close game one with Sylvanas. And then it was a three stock. Yeah. So this is indeed game four. The chillest group is wind. <laughs> I, I get it too. That's another joke. Oh my god. The Man, up air into um, strong hit a fair gets that kill on the um, just unfortunate DI. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that water wasn't boiling fatty, so you can get out of here with that garbage. Oh no, what if I started? <laughs> oh! Ooh, goes off stage. And it still hasn't touched the ground, there we go. Why are we still assuming temperatures? Because there's only one that matters, and that's cold. And if they were warm temperatures, then they'd be in the fire group. Get out of here with that garbage. Pretending like you know what's boiling, what's not. And if they were hot enough, they'd be in the air group because it'd be like gas, steam. Oh, yeah, hey, look. Steam, Eliana, hot. Get owned, fatty. <laughs> Idiot. You know, yeah, Sandbird's probably the coolest character. <laughs> like, he's just the best character all around. So I think in an 8v1, Sandbird could still win. I love down air killing at 40 consistently. <laughs> Same. You're just in hit stun forever. Yep. And this is a kind of a reverse of the last game where Coco... He is up two stocks to one and building this extra credit really well. Vixie, though, gets, got some good rock control and the sneaky recovery with that trip, the air trip. But Ooh. Vixie covers it well. Scoops That's a stock. That up smash. Last stock for Coco and Vixie. Oh, doesn't, uh, doesn't jump over it. 
Oh, if he broke the oh. pillar with that down B. Yeah, that would have been nuts. Oh, call oh, out man. the down air and also call out the air dodge in the same regard, but that will do it, and Coco takes it. Air one. Smash. Yeah.